I want to sort of uh, talk a bit about uh, this this music as a kind of identifying um, uh, style of music for for Latinos. Uh, it seems to me, it, it, you know, of course we we have to be respectful because there are, you know, folks who are Cubans, Cuban Americans, folk who folks who you know obviously have a thing for salsa and we respect that and, and merengue and so on. But it seems like cumbia, it's so popular, as I was saying earlier, across the continent that it's become this kind of force uh, uh, that that has gone beyond even the salsa. It, it's so, it's because everyone, and salsa has happened too. I mean, and, and you know, you see salsa bands in Peru, in Colombia, you know, and all over the place in Mexico, of course, uh, that have their own way of, of reimagining this music. But, but cumbia, uh, I think, has found a niche in every country. In, in I mean, I've heard this stuff in, in a place called Paraguay, you know, in, uh, in, in the capital of Asuncion when I was there a couple of years ago. I was saying, wow, they're singing cumbia and they're singing in their native Guarani. Wow. <laughs> So, wow. what do you think about that? You know, cumbia is such a such a wonderful, contagious and accessible type of dance form, right? Yeah, I mean, it's it's simple. I mean, the groove is simple, and it's very easy to dance to. Anyone can dance to it, you know. And it's just something about the ch -ch 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 that just really, you know, it just you feel it in your body, you know, in a way that you know maybe other types of music don't really like infect you that, that way, you know? Uh, I was in, uh, I was in Mexico in Isla Mujeres for a few weeks and I was having dinner with my wife and in Mexico, sometimes uh, you, they have like the water delivery truck, you know, uh, and, and they blast their music with some horrible speakers, right? And they were blasting that song <laughs> by Laura Leon, um, Suavecito, right? And it was just like the chorus, just the intro, ta -dun, ta -dun, ta -dun, just the intro and like that chorus, right? And we were at side, and we were outside on the street eating, right? And uh, this truck was there like half an hour, just blasting that super loud over and over and over. Every <laughs> single person that walked down the street started dancing to it. You know, they, they, they turn around, they hear it and they start dancing and then they, you know, they leave. And every 100% of the people that walked down the street we're dancing to it. Probably most of these people don't own the song, don't go and play it on their, you know, iPod or iPhone, whatever. But uh, everyone gets cumbia. You know, if you're a hip hop guy, if you're a heavy metal guy, whatever, from Mexico City or Colombia or Peru or whatever, you dance to cumbia. At some point in your life, you're dancing to cumbia. You know, that's like the underlying like thing that, that connects so many of us. You know what I mean? Um, and being Chicano, listen to the music that that this kind of music, and Elena too. Like it's just, you know, I, I for one don't normally listen to cumbia like in the car. Like I don't put it on. I don't have to because I, I I like it's in me. I am cumbia. You know what I mean? You know. So um, so it's just like in in in, in our the way we grow up is like we speak Spanish. You play you you dance to cumbia. You know what I mean? Elena, you have the final word. I'd like to say it's an easy thing. Maybe that's why it's universal, because I like to call cumbia like a, an English two-step, because it's literally very simple. And you just and anybody who doesn't know how to dance can freaking dance cumbia, right? <laughs> so I would say that's that's how I like to explain it to people who have no idea what cumbia is at all. Um, it's like, well, it's kind of like an English two-step, but with a little more groove and a little more flavor. Right, right, right. So, uh, but then you know, I'm a, mm -hmm. go ahead. What would you tell the people who are going to see you at the show at the Musco? Uh, how can they dance this music? That's what she's saying. I think that however you want, you can dance it however you want. You know, like it's not like you know. And we both love salsa. Elena and I, we love salsa. Most of us in the band, we love salsa. Ooh, yeah. uh, we even have a salsa song. Um, but like, you need a dance lesson to dance salsa. You know what I mean? Like you need to be coordinated, mm. you know, like it's yeah. not, 
you know, there's like a, a, a you know, it's a more elevated kind of dance form, you know. Uh, with this, you do whatever you want. You know, there's no cumbia yeah. police, you know, going to say, oh, you're doing that wrong or whatever. Nah, man, go and have fun. Whatever your body wants to do, do that, you know. Yeah, you can't look that bad doing it. I mean, right? <laughs> I mean, unless you really have two left legs, I don't know. <laughs> but, Even if you have two uh, left I, lanes, two, two <laughs> left legs, yeah. <laughs> I mean, All okay, right. so we want to we want to tell people is that you're gonna have an amazing time with us. Um, you're gonna release your stress throughout the week, and you're gonna watch an amazing band, Ozo Motley. We love those brothers, and um, you won't regret seeing us. 